For my notable book, I chose to read All the Way to Havana by Margarita Engel, illustrated by Mike Creato. This book takes place in the outskirts of Cuba that travels all the way to Havana, Cuba. And as we can see right away before even the book begins, there's some beautiful illustrations of 50s and 60s cars that we get to see throughout the story here. And actually, the illustrator, Mike, went to Havana, Cuba to get some ideas about these beautiful cars that they have been able to go through and last through makeshift parts. As we can see throughout the book here, it's the journey of a young boy who is unnamed and his family to go to a zero birthday party, which we would refer to in the United States as like a baby shower. And the car isn't working, so with the assistance of his father, they work through various makeshift parts that aren't the original or stuff that has been made by hand in order to get the car going. And finally, after the car is able to go, they travel with other people to Havana. The young boy also looks at the beautiful cars as he also notes that they themselves are older in the 50s and the 60s when they were built as well. When they get to the baby shower, the young boy realizes that the, the baby's not to remember it, but he enjoys the company of his extended family. And then they travel on the way home in that long day's journey. This book was intended for young readers, four to eight years old. Within it, we can see the setting once again goes from Havana, Cuba, back to the outskirts and vice versa at the very beginning. We also have very minimal interaction within the characters. However, we see there's a positive relationship between the father and the son so then that they can work together to make that car operational to get there to Havana and then once again to get back home. There's not really a theme here. Maybe working together would be a little bit of a stretch if you wanted to say there has to be a theme implied with this story. We can see the relationship with students with this could give them that experience that what they perceive as normal and everyone has the exact same lifestyle as they do is not always necessarily true in this regards of not always having the most modern car as well. A couple activities came to mind to extend this to children after reading it. It could be going to a mechanic shop to see how different things are tried out to repair a vehicle. If that's not a possibility, it could also extend to learning about Havana and why there has been governmental sanctions and how that's resulted in having these outdated cars as well.